What's up, guys? Pep Man here, Carolina Varsity, giving you my players of the week for week one action. So glad that high school football is back. And um, we're going to highlight some guys here that did a really good job in week one and deserve some recognition. Uh, first off, on the game I attended uh, Friday night, uh, Rocky River against Richmond County over at uh, Rocky River Stadium. Uh, three guys really stood out. First of all, for Rocky River, Tyshawn Carter, quarterback, dual threat kid. He literally did it all uh, for Rocky River. Uh, 180, 185 yards passing, 86 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Um, some of the big plays he did. He also returned kicks, which is rare for a quarterback to do. And, um, you know, really kept his team in the game, even though they lost 42-21. Uh, to 21. Uh, The offense, I think, showed that they have some ability to really get things done this season. And he has some uh, help around him with uh, Elijah Henry uh, at running back and um, a couple of receivers that can make some plays on the outside as well. Uh, for Richmond, they have a dual-threat quarterback of their own. Uh, Leon Zeigler uh, had 193 yards passing and a touchdown. He also had some big runs. Um, to keep some drives alive on third down and also off the uh, read option stuff that Richmond likes to run from the spread. So um, I think he'll be a really good player for them down east um, later on this year. Also at running back, uh, DeMontre Bennett for Richmond. Um, 11 carries, 131 yards, and three touchdowns in the victory. He um, really broke a nice 59-yard uh, touchdown run off of outside zone play in the first half. Uh, it's up on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Uh, but overall, both of these teams, I think, show that they will be uh, very good teams this year. I think Richmond's top 10 in the state right now, and I think Rocky River will be a 8-9 um, to uh, nine win team, possibly, as long as they stay healthy and, um, you know, avoid that injury bug that kind of hits people sometimes. Uh, also, I want to highlight two defenses. The Mallet Creek defense uh, did a great job down at Dillon. They had four goal line stands. And their seven to three victory, and I mean, you're in hostile territory, and that that's almost unheard of, man. With with the uh, situation they ran with the referees and everything, to come out and uh, get that done down there four times, um, especially in the second half, it's very 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 impressive. And also the Huff defense, a lot of people haven't said much about them. Uh, they had five first half turnovers against Harding that they forced and they also only gave up 27 yards passing total in the game in the uh, victory that they had last week so you know both defenses um, up in the uh, Mecca getting it done uh, early on in week one let's look at another quarterback uh, Sam Hartman for Davidson Day now this kid uh, he overcame thyroid surgery that not a, first of all and it, that thyroid surgery was only three weeks ago That that's unbelievable and he lost about 20 pounds as a result of the surgery. He was still able to go out here and throw for 470 yards. I mean, good grief. And um, also had two touchdowns and a loss uh, to Asheville Irwin. And 270 of those yards went to uh, his favorite target, wide receiver Nolan Gruel. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, very impressive game for both of those young men. Uh, let's look at through another private school here. Three kids from Statesville Christian. Uh, Kanan Cox, Tavi Lenny, and Sherrod Phelps. Um, big rushing yards for these guys. Cox had um, 134 yards on the ground and three touchdowns. Uh, Lenny had 110 yards and four touchdowns. And Phelps had uh, 127 yards and a touchdown. And they went over Christ the King. This was Christ the King's first varsity game, so that's always tough, but even then, that's uh, really impressive numbers for three running backs uh, really getting it done for uh, Statesville Christian in the uh, private school ranks. Down to Union County, Sam Howell for Sun Valley, star quarterback we all know about. He's only a sophomore. Uh, this was against Monroe. Very good competition. Um, 224 yards passing and five touchdowns. And they had to come from behind to win this game at Monroe. You don't just go down to Monroe and, and win normally. And this is a um, very good win for uh, Sun Valley in this one. Uh, Howell also rushed uh, 10 times for 47 yards and a touchdown. He's not known as a dual-threat quarterback, but um, you know if you can get it done on the ground and with your arm, you got a bright future. And uh, Mr. Howell has a really bright, uh, bright future down there for the uh, Spartans. 
Another quarterback back to uh, Mecklenburg County, Jack Davidson. Uh, we talked about him a good bit from Myers Park. Uh, he threw for 220 yards and three touchdowns in their 34-7 victory over Country Day. Uh, very good performance for Mr. Davidson and crew. Um, the other game in the kickoff classic, uh, DeMarcus Stratford for Charlotte Latin, uh, junior running back, scored three touchdowns, 218 off-purpose yards, and um, he also um, returned the opening kickoff for a touchdown. Also caught a 50-yard touchdown pass from uh, quarterback Bates Jones, and he scored on a seven-yard touchdown run. Uh, another do-it-all uh, kind of threat right there for Charlotte Latin. And my last guy is Quavaris Crouch, the uh, running back for Harding. A uh, tough game for the team overall, but he had um, pretty good numbers. 18 carries for 140 yards and a touchdown. The only touchdown that Harding scored in the game. Um, so that young man is very talented, has a bright future as well. So that's all the players I got for this week. Um, please remember to submit players to me on Twitter or through my email. Um, matt.morrow6164 at gmail.com Twitter, follow me at PetmanCV uh, You can also post it on the forums on the carolinavarsity.com website uh, We will take them from anywhere uh, for anyone uh, especially the big linemen and defensive players, we love to highlight those guys as well because they don't get a lot of spotlight but, you know, these can come from, you know, fans uh, players themselves or coaches now, if they come from the other two sources, we have to verify them with the coach. But, um, you know, we, we want to get people's names out there. We want to recognize you for the hard work that you do um, on Friday nights. And, um, and, we, you know, we really appreciate, you know, the submissions that we got. Uh, this week, Dale has a lot of submissions that he's going to do in his video. Um, but once again, please send those submissions in. We don't want to ignore anyone. If you want the coverage... Send it to us and we'll give it to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.